Hey guys, Lance here. Welcome to our summer trip information meeting. As you can see, this is super formal. If, if I do not know you, my name is Lance and I'm the fifth through eighth grade uh, youth director at our Wake Forest location. We're gonna run through everybody real quick who they are. Go. Hey guys, I'm, I'm Matt. I'm the youth and family pastor at our LifePoint Cary location. And I'm Josh and I work at North Raleigh with fifth through eighth graders. And I'm Travis and I am the high school director uh, at the North Raleigh building. So we're gonna start off with our mixed trip. It's our summer camp experience uh, put on through uh, Christ in Youth, which is often called CIY. So if you hear CIY or Christ in Youth, it's the same organization that puts on this camp every summer. Uh, this year we're going to Lee University, which is in Cleveland, Tennessee. Not Cleveland, Ohio, right? Uh, Cleveland, Ohio. Tennessee. Ohio. Big difference. But really. we still like you if you're from Ohio. Exactly. Exactly. Right? Just don't get confused. We're not going to Ohio. Except we would never do that. We just like you more here in North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, so that's gonna be June 22nd through the 26th. And when we say middle school students, we mean all current fifth through seventh graders. So by the summertime, they'll be rising sixth, seventh, and eighth. I absolutely love going to mix. This will be my seventh year going to mix. Seven, that's one less than eight. Wow, that's, wow, man. that's crazy. Um, so it's really fun. Uh, I look forward to it uh, probably more than I look forward to Christmas. I just love seeing how students get connected to each other in relationships. They learn so much about themselves, so much about Christ, um, so much about what they can be in the future. I know Josh really loves it too, so I'm gonna let him tell you a little bit. Oh yeah, COI is amazing. Just the way that they, so that's kind of like the details of it. I wanna give you this big picture of what COI does. And it, it's really cool because it's unlike any other Christian camp. And they really align with LifePoint's values on what we do with our students and how we connect them with God. And that's, they take this thing of what you learn at camp, what you experience at camp, and they don't let it stop when you, when camp ends and you just go home and it stops from there. They take that and they experience that in their schools, where they play, where they hang out with their friends, with their families. They take this thing that they learned, which this year, the topic is third person, which is all about taking the spirit of God and allowing that to flow through them and flow through their life. And so we're really excited about that this year because CIY is amazing. They take, you're able, I love it because you're able to take one moment you're playing nine square with your students and the next you're standing next to your students in worship and encountering God in this whole new way. And the really cool thing, and Travis will touch on this a little bit, is that we do small groups at LifePoint throughout the week and see how it does that as well. So the students, the small group that they're in throughout the year, they're in that same small group during CIY. They're encountering God with that same small group through worship, through teaching, through games. And it's really awesome. And so that's kind of the middle school side of it. But I want you to, uh, to hear from Travis, which is gonna to touch on the high school aspect of it. Yeah, so the high school aspect of CIY is called MOVE. Um, and this is just, it's pretty much the same thing that happens at Mix. We're gonna be talking about the same thing, uh, just diving a little bit deeper into the Holy Spirit and, and how that affects your students' lives. Um, MOVE Camp this year is also gonna be at Lee University in Cleveland, Cleveland Tennessee, not Ohio. Um, and it's gonna be July 6th through the 11th. I, this will be my second year going to MOVE Camp specifically, but every summer camp that I've ever been to is just a great time to just build those relationships, like Josh said, with the small group, with the small group leaders, but also with the students that are in uh, your student small group. It's just a great time to just grow in their relationship with God and encounter God, and just uh, just grow in, in that community and just have something that they have a foundation that when they come back to real life and come back to school and and work and their families that that they have something that they can share uh, with them. And, and another uh, trip that your high school student can go on is the mission trip. Uh, so I'm gonna hand, over, hand it over to Matt so he can tell you a little bit more about that. All right, so yeah, so um, we just realized that generally this mission trip is for juniors and seniors. Um, and we just know this is a time in their life where they're starting to ask that question, like how can I use my gifts, my talents um, for God? I mean, we think that it mix and move and, and all that's going around, they even counter God. They, they, they want to know him better, but now they're just going, what does this mean for my life? What does this look like for me after high school? And so a mission trip is this amazing opportunity where students are able to get excited about how they can serve God. They're not always sure exactly what that looks like. 
So the conversations start immediately. And then once we get there, um, they'll get to experience, uh, we're staying at a place called Heart. It's a missionary training uh, facility located on the Warner University campus. And they'll get to see and talk to people who are doing missions work all over the world. They're going to remote places to how they can connect people to God. But each day um, when they wake up, we get, uh, they'll go to breakfast at a church and then we get assigned a work project. And that's when they start going out in the community and they start um, experiencing maybe for the first time a, a task or something in front of them that looks so much bigger than what they think is possible to complete. And this task could be anything from um, replacing a roof, painting an entire house, um, working with schools in the community to build a bridge to, to uh, our, our community, connecting with a Christian organization for help in, in a variety of ways. And what's amazing is, is as they jump into this task that seems so big, um, it kind of starts stripping away just this idea of what's possible. And they start thinking about what God can do in their lives when they're using their gifts, talents, especially with other students their age. And by the end of the week, whenever we take a step back and we look at just what we just accomplished, um, we're able to kind of see, look at them and say like, so what does this look like when you go home? Like how can God use your gifts and your talents for something so much bigger than you ever thought possible? And this is the life change that happens on these missions trips. Um, we love to celebrate that with them by, by ending our trip going to a theme park. Um, we go uh, to a theme park where they get to just relax, but then also continue those conversations and just celebrate with them what God did for them that week. Now the theme park, uh, this, this is what we have in all in Central Florida. We partner with, some, with an organization called the Lake Wales Care Center. This, the Lake Wales Care Center has been a part of this community for over 30 years, building these bridges and making this happen. And uh, we're just excited that we get to come from North Carolina to, to walk along with them, partner with them, with teenagers really changing a community for that long. Uh, the trip is $800. This covers all the travel, all the housing, and all the, all the meals. Um, and we look at this as just such an investment into the, what they're going to be passionate about one day. Just start asking, like, how do, how do I want to help people? How do I want to use my gifts for the, for the greater kingdom? And we think that this is the place to really start having those conversations. And so uh, we just want to say thank you for that, investing that into your kids, investing into their future, investing into their leadership. So when they come back, they can, they can tell others about this experience as well. And I know that uh, through all these camps, through all the experience, we've kind of gone over the basic information, but we know there's specific questions you have about you and your child. Like we know that there's certain things that, that you're gonna need to know before you're able to invest in this trip and, and block out these dates. And so there's a comment box right below this video. When you write into that comment box, uh, that, goes, that gets e emailed directly or type into the, the, the text box. No, no snail mail. <laughs> that, that goes, that email will be emailed directly to a LifePoint staff person who can answer that question for you right away. And if, if you have any questions specifically, email me at mattdeadway.com. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be great. That's, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah, so we'll answer all those questions. If we realize that we're getting a lot of the same questions that maybe we missed a vital piece of information through this, we can always shoot another video and send that out pretty easily to everyone as well. But specific questions there, general information above, and uh, we can't wait to spend a week with your awesome kids in a way that they're going to connect with God in a fresh and new way in 2020.